Hello everyone, this is Sir Rick and I would like to welcome you all to another video tutorial in our Math 10 class. Before we proceed, I would like you to study these sequences and observe one commonality among them. Did you observe something in these sequences? Let us try to look at the first set of numbers and let us name 3 as a sub 1, 7 as a sub 2, 11 as a sub 3, and 15 as a sub 4. Notice that when I subtract a sub 1 from a sub 2, I get a difference of 4. I yield the same difference when I subtract a sub 2 from a sub 3 and a sub 3 from a sub 4. The difference of 4 between successive terms of a sequence is called common difference and it is denoted as small letter d. Let us try to look at the second set of numbers and let us name negative 2 as a sub 1, 5 as a sub 2, 12 as a sub 3, and 19 as a sub 4. Notice again class that when I subtract a sub 1 from a sub 2, I get a difference of 7. I yield the same difference when I subtract a sub 2 from a sub 3 and a sub 3 from a sub 4. Again class, the difference 7 between successive terms of this sequence is called common difference and it is denoted a small letter D. Let us try to look at the third set of numbers and let us name 3 as a sub 1, negative 2 as a sub 2, negative 7 as a sub 3, and negative 12 as a sub 4. Notice that when I subtract a sub 1 from a sub 2, I get a difference of negative 5. I yield the same difference when I subtract a sub 2 from a sub 3 and a sub 3 from a sub 4. Again class, the difference of negative 5 between successive terms of this sequence is called common difference and it is denoted as small letter d. Class, our observation in the three examples of a sequence leads us to our next topic which is on arithmetic sequence. What is an arithmetic sequence? According to Fernando Orines, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is the same. This constant difference is called the common difference denoted as small letter d. Now since we already know what arithmetic sequence is, let us do activity number 1. You are going to determine if the sequence is arithmetic or not. Are you ready? Let us have these examples. Is the first sequence arithmetic? Let us see. If the successive terms of the sequence are subtracted, we yield a common difference of 17. Hence, we can say that the sequence is arithmetic. What about the second one? In the second example, when we subtract the two successive terms of the sequence, we will not get a common difference. Hence, the sequence is not arithmetic. Class, every term of an arithmetic sequence can be written using the first term and the common difference. For instance, the sequence 21, 38, 55, 72, 89, and so on can be expressed as 21, 21 plus 17, 21 plus twice 17, 21 plus thrice 17, and 21 plus 4 times 17. In the same manner, the sequence 54, 
42, and so on can be expressed as 54, 54 plus negative 3, 54 plus twice negative 3, 54 plus thrice negative 3, and 54 plus 4 times negative 3. In general, the arithmetic sequence with a common difference D can be written as a sub 1, a sub 1 plus d, a sub 1 plus 2d, a sub 1 plus 3d, a sub 1 plus 4d, a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Note that the nth term is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Hence, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Class, I want you to remember that a sequence with a common difference is an arithmetic sequence. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d where a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. So since we now know how to get the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, you can now solve these problems class. Let us try to look at our first example. Write the next three terms of the sequence 7, 5, 3, 1, negative 1, and so on. It is interesting to note that the sequence is arithmetic because there is a common difference of negative 2. The sixth term can be obtained by adding negative 2 to the fifth term. That is, a sub 6 is equal to negative 1 plus negative 2 and that is equal to negative 3. The next two terms can be obtained in the same manner. a sub 7 is equal to negative 3 plus negative 2 and that's equal to negative 5. And a sub 8 is equal to negative 5 plus negative 2 and that's equal to negative 7. Hence, the required terms are negative 3, negative 5, and negative 7. Let us try our second example. Find the 12th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. The 12th term can be denoted as a sub 12 and that is what we are going to look for. The common difference is d equals 2. And the first term is 3. Since there are 12 terms, the 12th term can be found using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Plugging the given quantities in the equation, we get 25 as the value of the 12th term. Before we proceed to the next example class, may I just say that sometimes it is easier to compute values in an arithmetic sequence based on terms in the middle of the arithmetic sequence rather than on the initial term. Given an arithmetic sequence with kth term a sub k, 
and the common difference d, the term a sub n can be expressed as a sub n equals a sub k plus quantity n minus k times d. On that note, let us proceed to our next problem. Given an arithmetic sequence with 35th term 15 and common difference 2, what is the 20th term in the arithmetic sequence? The problem says that the 35th term is 15 and the common difference is 2. Using the formula a sub n equals a sub k plus n minus k times d, we can now solve for the value of the 20th term. So we are looking for a sub 20, therefore that's a sub n, and a sub k is the given in the problem a sub 35 plus 20 minus 35 times 2. A sub 20, therefore, is equal to 15 plus negative 15 times 2. Or A sub 20 is equal to 15 minus 30. Hence, A sub 20 is equal to negative 15. Let us have another example using the formula. Given an arithmetic sequence with 11th term 12 and 15th term 40, what is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence? The given terms are a sub 11 is equal to 12 and a sub 15 is equal to 40. Using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub k plus quantity n minus k times d, we can now solve the common difference. In this case, it does not matter what our a sub n and k, a sub k values are. So solving for d, we have a sub 15 is equal to a sub 11 plus 15 minus 11 times d. Since 40 is equal to a sub 15 and 12 is equal to a sub 11, then we have 40 is equal to 12 plus 4d. Or, that is the same as 4d is equal to 40 minus 12. And 40 minus 12 is equal to 28. Hence, solving for d will give us a value which is equal to 7. The same problem can be solved using system of equations. The given quantities are a sub 11 is equal to 12 and a sub 15 is equal to 40. Using the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, we know that a sub 15 is equal to a sub 1 plus 14d. And since 40 is equal to a sub 15, therefore we have 40 is equal to a sub 1 plus 14d. Let this be our first equation. We also know that a sub 11 is equal to a sub 1 plus 10d. Thus, we can form our second equation, 12 is equal to a sub 1 plus 10d. This is my second equation. Putting these two equations together and subtracting the second from the first equation, we have 40 is equal to a sub 1 plus 14d and 12 is equal to a sub 1 plus 10d. We know that 40 minus 12 is equal to 28. a sub 1 minus a sub 1 is equal to 0. And 14d minus 10d is equal to 4d. Hence, we have a value of d which is equal to 7. Therefore, the common difference is equal to 7. The same problem can be solved like this. We know that the given, again, are a sub 11 is equal to 12 and a sub 15 is equal to 40. First, we just subtract the subscripts from bottom to top. So we have 15 minus 11 is equal to 4. Append the small letter d to the difference of the subscripts. So that's 4d. Bring down the equal sign. 
Next is we subtract the two terms the way we did in the subscripts. We move from bottom to top. So we have 40 minus 12 is equal to 28. Solving for D, we get a value of 7. Therefore, the common difference is 7. Class, I suggest that you practice doing this technique mentally. Let us try to look at the next example. Given an arithmetic sequence, 87, 81, 75, and so on. Letter A, what is the common difference? Letter B, what is the general term or nth term of the sequence? And letter C, what is the smallest positive number in the arithmetic sequence? To get the common difference, we simply subtract the successive terms. Hence, we have 75 minus 81 is equal to negative 6, or 81 minus 87 is also negative 6. Therefore, the common difference is negative 6. For letter B, to get the general or nth term of the arithmetic sequence, first we write a sub n. Get the common difference negative 6 and multiply it to n. Next is we subtract the first term of the sequence and the common difference. We have 87 minus negative 6 is positive 93. The general term, therefore, is a sub n is equal to negative 6n plus 93. For letter C, to determine the smallest positive number in the arithmetic sequence, we use the general term of the sequence which we got in letter B. We think of a whole number which when multiplied to 6 will give us a value close to 93 and that number is 15. We replace n with 15, hence we have negative 6n plus 93 or negative 6 times 15 plus 93 will give us negative 90 plus 93 or that gives us an answer which is positive 3. Therefore, the smallest positive number in the arithmetic sequence is positive 3. Class, before we move to the next example, let us first look into what is meant by arithmetic means. The terms of an arithmetic sequence that are between two given terms are called arithmetic means. In the arithmetic sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17, there are three arithmetic means between 5 and 17. These are 8, 11, and 14. Knowing this definition, let us try this example. Insert three arithmetic means between 17 and 1. If we are to insert uh, three arithmetic means between 17 and 1, it must take the form 17, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and 1. We know that the first term, a sub 1, is 17, and the fifth term, a sub 5, is 1. Solving for D, we have 5 minus 1 is 4, append letter D. 1 minus 17 is equal to negative 16, and solving for D, it gives us a value of negative 4. The second term, a sub 2, is, taking, is taken by adding the common difference to the first term. So we have a sub 2 is equal to 17 plus negative 4 and that's equal to 13. The third term is taken by adding negative 4 to the second term. So we have a sub 3 is equal to 13 plus negative 4 and that's equal to 9. Lastly, the fourth term is taken by adding negative 4 to the third term. So we have a sub 4 is equal to 9 plus negative 4 and that is equal to 5. Therefore, the three arithmetic means between 17 and 1 are 13, 9, and 5. 
Let us try this problem. An object falling from rest travels 16 feet during the first second, 48 feet during the second second, 80 feet during the third second, and so on. How far does the object fall during the seventh second? And how far does the object fall after seven seconds? Writing the distance traveled by the object lets us realize that the distances it traveled after every second is arithmetic in nature. It has a common difference of 32. The first question is asking for the distance the object travels during the seventh second. This is similar to determining the seventh term of the sequence. Hence, we have a sub 7 is equal to 16 plus 7 minus 1 times 32. Or a sub 7 is equal to 16 plus 6 times 32. That gives us 16 plus 192. Therefore, the distance traveled by the object during the seventh second is 208 feet. The second question is asking for the distance the object traveled after 7 seconds. The object falls a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 plus a sub 5 plus a sub 6 plus a sub 7 after 7 seconds. That is 16 plus 48 plus 80 plus 112 plus 144 plus 176 plus 208 will give us 784 feet. Let us try the last example. If 3x minus 4, 2x plus 7, 6x minus 12, and so on form an arithmetic sequence, find x and the 16th term of the sequence. The first term, a sub 1, is 3x minus 4. The second term, a sub 2, is 2x plus 7. And the third term, a sub 3, is 6x minus 12. Since the difference of successive terms are common and equal, we now write a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2. That is... 2x plus 7 minus quantity 3x minus 4 is equal to 6x minus 12 minus quantity 2x plus 7. Solving for x, we have, or removing the parentheses, we have 2x plus 7 minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 6x minus 12 minus 2x minus 7. 2x minus 3x on the left side is equal to negative x, and 7 plus 4 on the left side is equal to 11. So, that's negative x plus 11. On the right side, 6x minus 2x is equal to 4x, and negative 12 minus 7 is negative 19. So, that's 4x minus 19. Putting all those with x together, we have Negative 5x is equal to negative 30, hence x is equal to 6. Since x is equal to 6, we can now solve for the values of the first and second terms and eventually the common difference. We have a sub 1 is equal to 3x minus 4 and that's equal to 3 times 6 minus 4 and that's equal to 18 minus 4 or 14 a sub 2 is equal to 2x plus 7, hence that's equal to 2 times 6 plus 7, or that is 12 plus 7, and that's equal to 19. The common difference, therefore, is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1, or that's 19 minus 14, and that's equal to 5. Now that we know the first term, the number of terms, and the common difference, we can now solve for the value of the 16th term using the general term or nth term of an arithmetic sequence. We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Or a sub 16 is equal now to 14 plus 16 minus 1 times 5. 
or that gives us 14 plus 15 times 5, which is equal to 14 plus 75, or that is now equal to 89. Therefore, the 16th term of the sequence is equal to 89. So that ends our video tutorial class and I hope you learned something today. Watch out for my next video on solving other arithmetic sequence problems. Be healthy, be safe. Until then...